guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brittany, and today I am joined with Samara. She's about to turn five, and in a minute I'm gonna have Layla, my seven-year-old, also join us. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about their favorite books that they like to read and what they're currently reading. I get a lot of questions about what kind of books um, my kids read and that I think are good content for kids to be reading when they're just learning to read. So I'm going to give you guys some ideas right now. Now this video is sponsored by The Good and the Beautiful. All that I'm going to be showing you is from The Good and the Beautiful Library. So um, we love their books so, so much and we are so grateful to be able to work with them and utilize their uh, curriculum and their books and their products because they have been truly good and beautiful to our family. So um, <laughs> so I'm going to, Samara picked out four books and she's gonna tell you a little bit about each one and why it's her favorite. But keep in mind, we're all a little bit sick right now. So we're all kind of like um, sniffly and sound stuffed up, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so Samara, these are your four favorite books, right? So here we go. The first one, what's this one called, Samara? Hi, I'm Molly, this is Mac. Okay, so this is level 1A. Um, why is this your favorite? Aya and Issa. <laughs> Do you pretend that that's Aya and Issa? Uh -huh. So she pretends that these are the twins. So as you can see, this book has been well loved by both kids. It's a little bit beat up. And um, so it kind of goes through the daily life and um, tasks of this cute little family. And uh, it's kind of relatable for uh, families and their little kids and stuff like that. All right, here's your next favorite. I think this is probably her absolute full favorite. Is this your absolute favorite book? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Sue and All Seasons. Sue and All Seasons. What is your favorite part of this book? About the fall. If you can hear my twins in the background, they're just making weird noises. Um, you like the fall one? Mm -hmm. So this book, it's cute. It, it follows Sue and um, things that she does in each of the four seasons. And wh which season is her birthday in? What season is that? Uh, spring. Spring, yep, her birthday's in spring. And it's really cute because she wants to have flowers for her birthday, but her birthday's in spring. And sometimes in spring, um, flowers don't bloom and there's still snow on the ground. But like at the last moment, I won't give it away, but it's really cute. She gets her birthday wish. All right, Samara, what's this book called? Josh Gets Bird. Josh Gets Bird. What's your favorite part of this book? When Josh gets a bird. <laughs> what does he have to do to be able to get the bird? Get money. And how does he end up getting money? Doing stuff. Like what? Like selling peas. Yeah, so this is a cute book because um, Josh wants a bird, and so... Instead of his parents just buying him one, they tell him to earn the money. And so uh, it kind of follows him along as he finds um, sweet ways to be able to save up the money to get a bird. And then he has to learn how to take care of it. It's a cute book. Okay, this is the last book. And this one is um, level two. <laughs> Layla's trying to keep the twins quiet, it's so funny. Okay, what's this book called? Twins Crossing of the Big Red Ruby. Yeah, what's this one about? Prince Percy. Yeah, what does he do in this book? Be selfish. He's selfish? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Bad thing, yeah. So who are his friends that he meets? Not a good thing. Yeah? Um, are they nice to him? Yeah. How do they help him? I don't remember. <laughs> so this one is sweet because um, it's true, Prince Percy is selfish. He had what, never said thank you before? Mm, no, please. Oh, he never said please before. Um, and it's, uh, it, he meets a couple of friends when he was in trouble and um, he ends up being, uh, having a big change of heart and um, it's a really cute story. Where so. Can I go? <laughs> so that's all four of Samara's favorite books. Now I'm going to have Layla come and tell you a little bit about her favorite four books. Okay, so I'm here with Layla. She's my seven year old. And she's I'm going. Seven. <laughs> she's going to tell you a little bit about each one of her books and why that's her favorite book. So her books are level four through seven that she is reading, and um, this one is level seven. Okay. Level six. Uh huh. Level five. And level four. So why don't we start with this one? Okay. Okay. So why don't you tell us a little I'm bit? I'm going to say my favorite book for last. Okay. 
All right, so what's this book? Tell us what it's called and what it's about. This is Baldy the American Eagle. And he, um, he mates and they have like um, three, um, they have three babies. They have like um, three um, sets of twins. And um, their last set of twins didn't live for very long. Their nest um, fell down because of there was a big storm and there was a, um, and then that there was forest fire and it broke down the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Next book. Anne and the Island Storm. Anne has her um, Anne has her mom and her dad and. On her on her ninth birthday, um, a new girl comes to the island, and Anne doesn't like her. And then, what as they um as she as she um learns to like the island and and um and stuff, and she visits um her to do school to do her school, and um they become friends. And at the end, they're like laughing and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a really cute story because um, this new girl shows up on this kind of remote island and has to stay with this family and no, the other little girl. she has to stay with her grandma. Well, yeah, she has to stay with her grandma, <coughs> but she does school with the family. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she comes over when to have dinner with um, Anne's dad. Yeah, and sometimes the other little girl had a hard time getting used to having another kid around. And um, as time went on, they learned to be friendly with each other. And then by the end, they were like best friends. And it was really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get that screaming baby real quick. Hold on. Okay, why don't you talk about the next book? Trumper. You like Trumper? Yeah. Okay, what's that about? This is about my favorite animal and um, his, um, What's your favorite animal? My favorite animals are horses and ponies. Yeah. And ah! I love them because they, I, I like to, I, would, I want to like ride them and because they're really cool. So Trumper, he's a horse. And he used to, he's used to just going out for rides. He didn't like farm work, right? Yeah, he didn't want to do farm work because he wasn't used to it. Yeah. And then, um, he is, um, then he, he has to work really hard. Yeah, with he someone. has to work really hard and then, um, he's used to it and then he's like, he can, and then for his like tree at the end, he'll get to go for a ride. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good story about the hard work that this boy puts in training this horse to do, um, farm work. And then he yes. gets put into 4-H competitions and stuff like that. So that he doesn't have to sell. Him. Yeah. It's sweet. It's just crying babies all the time in our house now. <laughs> okay, is this your favorite book? Yes, okay. this is my favorite book out of all these four <laughs> books. What's it called? Blitz. All right, why is it your favorite? Because um, it is, um, because he is like, he's like, when he's a baby, it shows a picture of him, and he's so cute in that picture. Yeah. And then it's like, he becomes a fire horse. That's what I want my um, horse to be, because tomorrow's going to be a firefighter. Oh, okay. And so I want um, my horse to work at the fire station with Samara and me. Yeah. Because my sister's going to be a firefighter <laughs> when she grows up. Yeah. And yeah, what's your favorite part of the book? Lisa has hair. Um, Ew. The, my favorite part is when, is at the end when his, um, when he meets um, his new, his new um, forever owner. Mm. Um, it's Dave. His name is Dave. His name is David. David. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's your favorite? That's my favorite. All right. It's the end. <laughs> it's the end of all the books. <laughs> it's the end of the video. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all of your favorite books. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, this so, is the end of this video. So that's the end of us uh, explaining some of our favorite books. Um, I love the Go to the Beautiful books because I don't have to worry about there being inappropriate content in them. In Layla's language arts curriculum, it even teaches, has special lessons on what to look for in books to know if they are wholesome or if they have content in them that um, is not appropriate so that the child can kind of self-distinguish between um, a book they should be reading or should not be reading. And all of the Go to the Beautiful books 
have good messages in them. And, if, and uh, so I never have to worry about <coughs> there being something inappropriate that's gonna <coughs> teach them something bad. <coughs> so I'll have the Gonna Beautiful books. I'll have the Gonna Be Beautiful books linked down below for you guys if you want to check them out yourselves. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mama, no way. What? And Mama had to sh um, share that that um, that um, little part of the um, of my language arts book with some ah! cool because it was like so important. It yes. called it's called Messages in a Book. Messages in a Book. That's right. Yep. And she's doing level two language arts. And if anyone's wondering, and it's in also from the three, good people in level three handwriting. Level three handwriting. Yep. This boy, I think, is hungry. He's trying to eat my face. <laughs> you don't eat that. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, Say bye bye. Please, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. He's gonna just eat my face. <laughs>